right. This is an emergency broadcast, an emergency broadcast. This is a part two emergency broadcast on the Super Jubilee for sale, the Super Jubilee that is for sale. We have a couple of updates on that. Emergency broadcast scheduled for 10 after, and we're actually a little bit early. We're actually a little bit early. We're scheduled for 5.10 p.m. Uh, emergency special broadcast. And looks like Fella's in the house, and Lance is in the house. <clears throat> and let's see we got to get you on a savings plan to get a real watch there you go and uh, yeah as long as Lance will back away from the keyboard and stop buying the uh, the marginal watches I'm not going to use the term that most people use I think that's a little bit too derogatory but the marginal watches as long as we can keep him away from from buying those he can save up and get something decent <clears throat> I really think the 005 that Dave Williams has, though, that stunner on the right there, the one that Dave Williams has, that might be a trick. Now, that one's a little bit out of focus because I focused on the 231. Let me see if I can move it closer to the camera and get that more in focus. Give me a moment here. That's a little bit better. Let me try again. Don't like the way the lighting is here, but it is what it is. That's a little bit sharper now. At least you can see Japan clearly and uh, almost make out what the movement is. So there you go. And um, the reason we're having a special emergency broadcast today is. I did get an email back from the seller of the Jubilee bracelet and I do have additional information. So let me see if I can pull this up <clears throat> on the email here. See if I can find this. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, okay. 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 All right, here we go. So this is this is what he wrote to me. He said, I found it funny when people heard Korea and Asian fakes. I'm not Asian, and as my receipt shows, I purchased the watch from an AD in New Zealand. Anyway, it's it's out it's out there. I guess he meant the, what people are saying. Okay. So anyway, he gets around, obviously. In regards to how the deal would be done, it can be done on Chrono24. I have an ad advertisement there. I guess it's already on Chrono24. And if they mention this show, the, he'll lower it to the $1,300 price. So there you go, folks. You can buy with confidence from Chrono24, I guess. I guess that's how that works. And let's show the, the, the strap again. And again, this is commonly referred to as a Super Jubilee bracelet. He wore it on and off for about a year, so it doesn't have much wear and tear. And he prefers a strap, so he is selling the bracelet. And he's just going to wear his day chest on a strap. That's his, that's his plan. <clears throat> so I can't blame him. I, I've gotten to where I really like this strap on the 002. I have to tell you, I was not a strap guy before, but... I'm getting converted, at least for for a dress watch. I don't know if I'd go strap on a sport watch yet. I don't think I'm quite there yet, but pull this chair in a little bit. <clears throat> but I, I, I can get it. I get it. I'm hip now. Williams Watches is in the house. Mighty Rat is in the house. And it is Friday, and this may be an abbreviated uh, broadcast. Should I service my 2004 118238? No, Scott. No, no, no. As long as it's running fine, do not spend money on having it serviced. Wait until it has issues. Wait until it has issues, then have it serviced. Because the reason I say that is I would have Rolex service that watch. I would not have some independent Yamoke touch that watch. I'd have Rolex service it 
and they're going to charge you the same price whether you do it now or do it five years from now. I mean, they're going to charge a flat fee for having that thing serviced, so why not wait as long as possible? Let your money work for you instead of handing it over to Rolex right now. Triforce Rich is in the house. <clears throat> How did your meeting with the embassy go, Carlos? Uh, let's see, and David's in the house. Hope your phone's working properly. Uh, Lance, it survived. <clears throat> maybe I should not have done that. I really was thinking that there was no risk, but maybe I was wrong. The pool floor is hardened ceramic. Well, no, I don't think it was, I don't think it, that would hurt the watch because the water, you know, it only, it won't go down but so fast in water, right? The water slows it down. So I don't think it hit the bottom of the pool very hard, Carlos. I don't think so. <clears throat> you didn't see any damage, right? There was no visual damage. <clears throat> Try first words, Carlos, you definitely uh, should have done that. That was hilarious. That's Tig's in the house. Uh, uh, good evening, Craig. Just watched Just Blue Fish presenting Snowflake Alternatives, SBGA 279 and 403, and SPGH 281, one spring drive and two high beat. What do you think? Well, I certainly wouldn't look at it as a high beat as a, as a alternative because, no, I would go with a spring drive. That's a whole, one of the whole reasons for buying a snowflake is having the spring drive. So if I'm looking at alternatives, I would be looking at something with a spring drive or maybe even with a 9F. In other words, I'd, I'd want to go even more accurate, not less accurate, if I had my choice. So there you go. <clears throat> there are a lot of alternatives. Some of those new watches that just came out are stunning, and they're a little bit smaller than the snowflake. And I think a little bit thinner, a little bit thinner. So those watches that were just announced, those are all great alternatives. Now, they're not titanium, so you give up the titanium, which is a shame. But uh, some people, excuse me, some people don't care about the titanium, so that, that's that. Um, at try, well, not very happy with the process and the reasons to do it. But I prefer to have that insurance. Okay. Um, Triforce Rich says, What's up, Lancelot and William? Let's go to a quick time check. I think the barometric pressure is, is changing here. My, my ears are, are popping. Maybe there's a front coming through. Let's see here. Um, Craig just got a white 15. 500 AP thoughts more of a stunner more of a stunner than your stunner draws eyes send me a photo well I'll pull it up I'll give you my uh, appraisal if you will send me a photo uh, craigship at gmail.com craigship at gmail.com c-r-a-i-g-s-h-i-p-p -P at gmail.com I'll look at it I'll, I'll make a call now, once I make a call, that it's final. There's there's no appeal, there's no appeals process. When I make my determination, that's it. That's how it works here. Triforce Rich is in the house. Carlos, if you wore yellow gold, the process would be easier. But they thought your white gold was steel and mis mistreated you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, no damage, but I think, but I think that. No damage, but I think that I would repeat it. You mean you think you wouldn't repeat it? Uh, what year is the bracelet? Oh, okay. Let's look at the um, receipt. Let's look at the receipt and see what the date is on that. So we can get to the receipt here. Okay. Um, can we? Is that 2018? Uh, I guess I can't zoom in on that. It looks like the date is f is uh, uh, 2018, 5-19-2018 or something. Uh, uh, th so it looks like he bought it a couple years ago, <clears throat> like two years ago. And he said he wore the bracelet on and off for a year, 
and then uh, decided that he was just going to use straps and uh, and that's been it for the bracelet. Let's see here. Oh, excuse me. Whoa. If you know what hits the fan for you, I can try to petition asylum for you to get in the U.S. There you go. Uh, well, push comes to shove. He can deposit $60,000 in a, um, in a uh, Costa Rican bank, and he can go to Costa Rica. I think they'll welcome him with open arms. So if he has to go somewhere to hide out. I thought that was the whole purpose of being in Panama. I thought, I thought they were able to be bought off. You got it. Carlos has to go somewhere where when, when you pay off the thugs, they stay paid off. Right. That's the whole thing. When you go to these third world countries, you know, and you you, you pay off the, the, the warlords, you know, you got to make sure they stay paid off. Let's see here. Carlos says, yes, phone is working properly. We learned that Wi-Fi does not work underwater. Well, I'll tell you what, Wi-Fi doesn't work very well, period. I hate to be the one, to, the bearer of bad news, but Wi-Fi is a you-know-what show. Uh, let's see here. Um, poor Carlos, uh, you, were, you were being seduced into doing horrible things last night, but it sh sure was a lot of fun. Well, uh, my guess is off camera he probably does things that are even more interesting because Carlos seems like he's kind of a fun guy. So I, my my guess is there's not a lot of dull moments down in Panama. I'd love to be at one of Carlos's parties. Probably probably a wild wild gig. Scott's in the house. Is the Hulk still considered an investment at the prices they are now? Um, I wouldn't consider any Rolex uh, an investment. I would consider it a watch to wear and enjoy. If you're looking to invest, I'd invest in something that's a a decent, legit, solid investment. But the answer is no. I, I would not buy any steel Rolex right now as a as an investment. I think we've seen all the upside in, in those things. I think that craziness is going to come to an end, and people are going to realize that a steel watch is just a steel watch, and it's nothing special. Now, if you want something special, go with a gold stunner, like the 002 that's on my wrist right now. Go with something like that if you want something that is pretty much amazing, amazing. Go with a gold stunner with a deployant clasp. <clears throat> that's what I say. Trisorch Rich says, I can send Carlos to Napoli or Sicily, but they charge protection tax every month. Uh, but Noriega has not been in power since 1989. Uh, you could learn Italian pretty quick, Carlos. There you go. Yeah, he probably he probably already speaks Italian. I, I heard a rumor that Carlos speaks seven languages. So there you go. <clears throat> By the way, I've been doing some research on the. Um, I'm going to do my special on the on the the high end dress shoes if you will dress dress casual uh i'm i'm going to be doing my video probably monday or tuesday and i've been doing some more research <clears throat> and it turns out that the peel and company name that brooks brothers brooks brothers bought the peel and company name in around 1960 that company went out of business th after making shoes for like over 100 years all right they were really a respected maker peeling company and and brooks brothers bought the name and then i thought that they were using crockett and jones to make all the shoes that were under the pearl and company brooks brothers name but that's not true they actually used a few different manufacturers i have a pair that were made by crockett and jones but they over the years they've used different manufacturers and put the pearl and company name on it so the plot thickens. Then now the manufacturers they've used have all been pretty high end. So uh, anything you get that has Brooks Brothers Pearl and Company name on it is going to be pretty pretty decent. But they're not all going to be automatically Crockett and Jones. So I thought that was very interesting. I think the ones that have been made fairly recently have mainly been Crockett and Jones. But uh, the Italian one, <clears throat> let me let's do a time check. I'm going to pull up this one shoe that I was looking at the other day. 
on Brooks Brothers because the reason Brooks Brothers is on the is on the radar is um, you know they're having a sale on a lot of these things and um, oh shoot <clears throat> okay all right I guess this is loading it oh I accept cookies oh jeez these websites are a pain in the neck okay so so we looked at this the other day this uh, golden fleece cordovan wing uh, wing tips okay and if you notice here these are made in Italy okay so these these and these do not have the the Crockett and Jones name in them okay so I think they only use the uh, not Crockett and Jones the Pearl and Company name I think they only use that name inside the shoes if they're made in England the ones that are made in Italy just say made in Italy and they just say Brooks Brothers so and obviously they're using some manufacturer in Italy to make those so so that's the deal that's the deal on that just a little follow-up on that discussion that we had the other day um, <clears throat> uh, let's see what's wrong with Spain Carlos being shacked up with a Spanish beauty in downtown Madrid with a wine cellar is not so bad <clears throat> we'll see what he has to say about that um, all right, let me catch up he says Carlos I'm fine in Panama I just, just just do not like the perspective of what could happen in Spain that would make me renounce that would make me renounce to Spanish citizenship just dropping in passively evokes says cheese town she town okay <clears throat> Leon, what's wrong with Spain, Carlos? Okay, I just read that one. Um, Cheetown says, hey, William and Carlos. Uh, Cheetown, Crockett and Jones, weren't they the guys who drove around Miami in the Ferrari in the 80s? We've already had that joke. We had that joke the other day. Okay, fellas and us, Craig, you should look up the eaton shirt sale it's one of the best brands and 50 percent off it'll help everyone okay we'll check it out make it would help me a lot if you could send me a link so i don't have to google it but um i'll i'll try that real quick here but to try to send links folks if you want me to pull stuff up it's easier e-t-o-n let's check it out Da, 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 da. Okay. All right. It looks like I'm going to go to EatonShirts.com, and this is their summer summer sale. I hate the way they always try to get your email addresses, and so they can spam you. Um, super slim. <laughs> Super slim, slim, and contemporary. I would go with classic, folks. I would not go with any of that foolishness. All right, so, yeah, I, I don't like spread collars. I've got a couple of them, but I, I would never buy any more. So I would pass on those spread collars. Let's see if they have anything more. Yeah, I'd pass on all of these. Are these women's shirts or men's? Yeah, I would pass on all of those. See, that's even a spread collar, even that one there. It's interesting, when you go like this, it doesn't look as much of a spread collar, but it is at the wider shot. It's definitely a spread collar. A lot of people are buying those spread collars these days. I think they look silly. Um, that one's a little bit more conventional, but what's with all these silly patterns? No wonder they've got these things on sale. Okay, here we go with a little more classic look. Again, all spread collars. What the heck? Let's see if we can find anything with a conventional collar. Um, see, that, that's the problem is those spread collars go in and out of style, right? They're not classic, so they... And that's a, that's a button down. That's a, that's a hidden button down, which is okay, but no real reason to have it hidden. Um... 
Yeah, I have to say, I'm I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Maybe they have some shirts that are a little more classic designs, but I would kind of pass on all the ones I saw there. Maybe they got something else. And and at uh, two hundred dollars, two hundred and ninety dollars, some of them, they're in Gitman Brothers prices. So I would probably just go ahead and buy some Gitman Brothers shirts and call it a day. It's probably what I would do. And at those kind of prices, I would try to hunt and find some. Uh, Brooks Brothers made in USA, made in USA Brooks Brothers shirts uh, on eBay. That's what I'd probably try to do. Maybe you might even be able to find some new old stock ones. I bought a new old stock, that blue one I wore the other day, that uh, Gitman Brothers shirt that was blue the other day that I wore. That was a uh, brand new shirt that I got for 35 bucks. Uh, off their sales, they had a, they had a deep discounts, a lot deep deeper discounts than we saw right there. Uh, let's see. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta, say the, okay, so they require. Um, we are required to wear masks inside any building if in non-household company waiting in lines, etc. Wow. Sent a link to a stunning. Brooks Brothers watch with a Seiko automatic movement. All right, we'll look. Um, apparently, Chip Chip Wrong just bought a Lamborghini and he is getting it rainbow wrapped. He said he bought the dip in the stocks and made another 700k after taxes. Well, the good. That's a good move. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. So let's go and see um, see what Lance sent. Let's see what Lance sent. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Let's see if this loads in. On. Oh, jeez, Lance, no, please, Lance. <laughs> look how ugly that case is, and the, look how ugly the bracelet is. My gosh. And they, oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. And they don't even have the warthog is, is it should be down a little bit from those indices. See, see how it's, it's hitting the hash marks at the top? It should be down a little bit lower. And the words Brooks Brothers should be probably down a little bit lower and probably a little smaller. Probably the Brooks Brothers should be smaller and the warthog a little bit smaller. Or maybe put the warthog at the bottom. That's that's horrendous. They need they need somebody to they need to consult with somebody before they have these watches. They, see, they just they just farm this work out. They just outsource it. They had somebody make that watch to their specs, and and uh, somebody doesn't know how to design a watch. I'll have to tell you. I tell you, the, the Brooks Brothers they still have some nice stuff like those shoes I just showed you, but they also have some real marginal stuff. No wonder they're in financial trouble. Let's see, socialist, communist, democratic government does not seem the best idea to manage an economic crisis. Uh, Trevor's Rich, apparently Chip Wong just bought, okay, I just read that one, okay. Uh, let's see, Brooks Brothers, isn't that the two guys in that movie that drove to Chicago in an old police car to save? <laughs> yeah, that was a great movie. Um, let's see, David's in the house, Craig... Eaton is showing uh, British style shirts. Spread collars are prevalent. You may not be keen on them. Though widely worn in Europe, the wider collars patterns are viewed as cool Britannia. Yeah, I would pass on all that, Dave. I just get some conservative stuff so you can wear it year in and year out and you don't have to worry about it going in and out of style or being in fashion in one country and not in fashion in the other. That's that's the beauty of conservative dressing conservatively. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Lance is in the house, needs to stop with these garbage watches. They cost $5 to make. <laughs> Craig Eaton has conservative shirts, amazing quality, far better than Brooks Brothers. Well, no, not if you buy the vintage Brooks Brothers, the stuff that's made in the USA. That stuff was great. Now, I can't speak for what they make now. I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably make a lot of garbage now, but no, I'm talking about the vintage ones that were made in the USA. They were very good quality. Um, so there you go. Okay, so folks, if you want to go to that website 
and get some shirts. You just have to find their their conservative ones. Okay, here we go. I guess I can sort this. Let me try this here. That's the problem. I had it sorted wrong. But I went to classic. It should have taken me to to the classic. Okay, let me let me change it here. Evening cutaway, extreme cutaway, wing. Well, see, they don't even have a, a conventional collar. Looks like they don't even offer it. I guess their evening cutaway is the closest. I guess. No, that's even a spread collar. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think they... If you can send me a link, I'll be happy to show it. But I can't, uh, I can't tell they have conservative stuff. I can't tell. Uh, let's see. Um, it's not that ugly. I like the gold logo on the white doll. Yeah, but they positioned it in the wrong place, and it's too big. I do agree that logo should be lower on the dial. Yeah, well, of course. Uh, maybe their picture's wrong. Maybe maybe they are actually in real life lower and smaller, and that picture's just screwed up. Um, at Craig, it's a Swedish brand. That's why. Okay. Well, in any event, I wouldn't wouldn't wear them. Uh, but okay, so let me give you some examples. So we got to revisit this because obviously there's a lot of bad information out there. So let me let me let's revisit this. Um, I'll close for Christ's sake. We'll revisit this. Let's do a time check here real quick. Um. Okay, give me a moment here and I will, I'll bring this up. Okay, quality clothing, here we go. All right. All right, so I've got 300 items in this set, this set of photos, I've got 300 items, okay? And you see here things like like these lapels are pretty conservative on almost all of these, okay? Uh, pretty conservative lapels on all of these sport coats, right? And we'll get to the shirts here in a minute, okay? So here's some shirts. All right, so let me go ahead and pull this up. All right, uh, this is a shirt by Solka, Solka and Company, uh, out of New York. They have a couple of different locations, but this was out of New York. A, a button-down collar, very conventional collar. That was in style 30 years ago, 40 years ago. It will be in style 20 years from now, okay? It, it's timeless, okay? And that's a very expensive shirt. That's from Solka and Company, okay? And here's one out of Beverly Hills. You can't see the collar on that, but it is what it is. Um, here's a shirt from Nordstrom that has a conventional collar. That's not particularly high end. Now, here's a shirt by Kenneth Gordon, also made in the USA. Again, a conventional collar. That one's also a button down. Okay, and that very high quality shirt. Uh, there's a shirt purchased from Saks Fifth Avenue. And also made in USA, you can see there. And that is a conventional collar. Okay. There's another one, conventional collar. Uh, some ties. Do I have any other shirts? Let me see if I have any. Uh, I should have the Gitman Brothers shirt here. Um, all these things are timeless. Like the, these Lucchese boots, timeless. Timeless. Okay. Timeless. You buy high quality stuff, you want it to be timeless. You don't want to have to throw it away because it went out of style. That Wested leather coat, that indie, indie style coat, the bomber jacket, timeless. The Burberry trench coat, timeless. Okay. Um, even that Turnbull and Asher shirt, that, that one has a little bit of a spread collar, but not much. And that's Turnbull and Asher out of England, very high end. 
very high end okay and again they're not gonna go out of style okay um, here's a, one of my favorite uh, Kenneth Gordon shirts again conventional collar will never go out of style that's their heirloom edition that is a um, uh, linen linen shirt okay so if you're gonna buy high-end stuff make sure it's not gonna go out of style on you make sure you're not gonna get screwed here's a um, perfect example there's a shirt by Gitman Brothers French cuffs nice con nice conservative collar you can wear that forever any occasion no issues no worries you're good to go okay uh, let's see um, this one is a <clears throat> this one is a, a little bit of a spread and that's why I don't wear it with a tie I don't know if I can even button it but not much not as much of a spread as those other ones Let's see if I can get it buttoned here I'm wrestling with it Arrgh. buttonhole is tight on this shirt I never wear it with a tie. Okay. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay. So this one is a, a just a little, nah, really not much of a spread. When it's buttoned, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty conserved, pretty mild. If it is a spread, it's a very mild spread. It just looks like it's more of a spread when it's unbuttoned. <clears throat> But I don't generally wear this one with a tie. I wear it with my sleeves rolled up the way it is now. Because this one's also a French cuff, French cuffs. Um, and this one is French cuffs. And this one's pretty tight, French cuffs, even tighter than my other ones. I could probably wear it with this watch, uh, but I couldn't wear it even with the 005. It was too tight. So, to solve that, just roll the sleeves up. Uh, let's see. Kevin, do you have any experience with a metal detector? I haven't used one, but I know people down in Sarasota found some nice things on the beach with them. Absolutely, some people find some nice stuff. David, I love uh, British tailoring. It's a lot better than American. American is too baggy. Uh, traditionally, British is a good balance between... American and Italian. Well, I mean, like this is a very full shirt. If you, I mean, if you, and if you call that baggy, fine. But I call it full, and I call it comfortable. <laughs> and that's the way a shirt should be. A shirt should not be tight. First of all, it looks silly, and second of all, it's not comfortable. So other than that, there you go. All these like tailored, like really tight-fitting suits and the real short jackets that they're wearing nowadays I mean it's just absolutely silly and ridiculous it's just like these people walking around wearing masks you know it's just absolutely ridiculous uh, but there you go it's a, a you know our education system is very marginal so you end up with people that are making some bad choices uh, David's in the house I got a nice Deer stalker, stalker hat like Sherlock Holmes from the UK. Very well made and great in the winter. There you go. <clears throat> Carlos, I think I have solved the issue of the Datejust 36 that I do not use. It seems my son has changed his mind and it would be his choice as a graduation gift. Oh my gosh, that would be a perfect graduation gift. Absolutely. With that Jubilee bracelet. Oh my goodness. That would be fantastic. Stig's in the house. David, spread collars are strange. Even here in the old world, only old people wear them in order to look younger. Uh, Triforce Rich, Carlos, that's a good choice. The silver coloring is a good young style, although if I were him, I'd take the Explorer. <laughs> yeah, but it's very hard to beat that date just with the Jubilee. The Jubilee bracelet is stunning. I try he has the option to get an explorer but not my explorer <laughs> Carlos your son has a great father there you go 
uh, David Williams in the house at Triforce Rich agree. I like how British bespoke suit trousers are not as baggy in the seat, though not at all trendy, simply a different classic cut that lasts over time. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, you get yourself some Bill's khakis, and you'll probably throw stones at any other pants because they are super comfortable. If you get the originals, the Model 1 or whatever they call the, the original design, they are absolutely fantastic. Triforce Rich is in the house. I have a Wested leather jacket. Not great quality, but the price is quite low. Uh, so for the price, it's good. When did you get yours? Because I got mine, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, and it was really good quality. I wonder if they've gone downhill since then. And mine, by the way, was made to measure. Was yours made to measure? Because back in the day, that's that the only way they did them. Uh, so let me know when you got it, because I'd be interested to know. Maybe they've gone downhill in quality. A lot of manufacturers have gone downhill, unfortunately. Like we're talking about Brooks Brothers, they've gone way downhill on a lot of things. Spray collars are for boys. Pinpoint collars are for men. Mas Master Q. Craig, what's the thought on three-piece suits? I bought a navy pinstripe three-piece. Looks great. I get too warm in them. I, I have one, and I wore one a while back. Uh, one of my, I have a, I think it's a Brooks Brothers three-piece uh, pinstripe. Um, I love the suit, but I get too warm in it with this. If it's a really cold winter day, it's great. It's great to wear a three-piece suit. But unfortunately, or fortunately, however you look at it, here in the Mid-Atlantic region where I am right now, the winters have been pretty mild the last couple winters. And usually I'm down in Florida for the winter, and it's even milder. So it's I just don't get a lot of opportunities to wear a three-piece suit and feel that comfortable in it. I feel like I get kind of warm. But I think the look is great. I think they look great. If you don't overheat in them and, and you, you like them, then absolutely. I think it's a... Good way to go. Watch the movie uh, Thomas Crown Affair, the original one, not the remake. Watch the original Thomas Crown Affair um, with Steve McQueen and Faye Dunaway. He wears some nice three-piece suits in there. Check that out. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Williams watches Carlos. That's awesome, Carlos. Your son has great. Okay. Date, date, date just as a stunner. Absolutely. I actually think Explorer would be a better choice for him. I don't know. I, I, my gosh, it's hard to beat the the Datejust with that Jubilee bracelet, hidden class Jubilee bracelet. That's a stunner. Uh, Triforce Rich Carlos, if I were him, I'd ask for a root beer. Ha <laughs> ha. But you probably wouldn't approve. No, I wouldn't go for the root beer. I'm not a big steel and gold guy. I'd go either all steel or all gold. Um, let's see. Carlos, does your Datejust have a white or silver dial? It looks like somebody did a super chat. I don't know how all that works. I usually don't get super chats. It looks like somebody may have done one. Uh, Carlos, no way. Um, I have date just, but my Oyster Petrol 36 is my daily. I can okay. Um, over the last 25 years, uh, 25 years, I've come to realize that mainstream American clothing is too baggy for me. It's changed a lot over time, and my weight stayed the same. Uh, you might might want to look at who you're buying from maybe you're making some uh some marginal buying decisions there go go get yourself a, a pair of bills khakis i think you'll be tickled pink with them uh, carlos is in the house i was 50 50 between silver and white and i went for white because roulette date silver dial does not have that oh that is so cool though that roulette date is so cool that yours is a stunner carlos you you got the right watch don't second guess that decision. Craig, a proper dress shirt should fit so tightly that if you move your arms, it gets completely <laughs> untucked. <laughs> Absolutely. And the buttons should also pull, you know. They should, like, um, let's see if I can get it to do it here. They should pull like this, right? It, it should pull like that when it's buttoned. Yeah, that's the way you do. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Um, Trevor Switch says, no OP or day just for me. The day date is the only dress Rolex for me. I prefer the sports models. GMT is the best watch Rolex makes, in my opinion. 
Well, I always rotated with a GMT with my Day Date. Uh, not always, but for most of the time, that's what I was rotating. I like masks. I have from Roy Rogers and one that's that says not a liberal. Kyle's in the house. He says, "Hey guys, I was going to ask Kyle something. Doggone it! Now I can't remember what the heck it was. Ah, uh, there was something I was going to ask Kyle about. Oh, oh, I know, I know." Okay, um, since I'm going to be talking next week about high-end dress shoes, um, Kyle, maybe you can find out if there's a retailer that sells high-end dress shoes uh, there nearby. We're looking at somebody that sells like high-end English shoes like Crockett and Jones, Edward Green, in particular Edward Green, uh, churches, church. I guess is it church English shoes um, C-H-U-R-C-H apostrophe S uh, uh, you know like any of the high end stuff maybe even like Alden maybe they maybe somebody sells Alden uh, it would be so cool to have you report live from there and show us some shoes. Tell them they'll get some good visibility. They'll get some free visibility. And, and, and you might want to look at some just to, just to kind of have a little fun. Uh, so that might be interesting uh, next week when I do my, uh, show, my show about the shoes. I've, I've been uh, digging my, my shoes out and cleaning them up and, and polishing them. And I'll get them all polished up, and uh, we'll do a live stream early next week uh, and talk about talk on that subject because, again, it goes from the foundation up. Your feet are your foundation, so it's very important that your feet, that you take care of the feet properly and then build up from there, okay? <clears throat> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the foundation which is your shoes, your shoes that are on your feet. That's very important. A lot of people overlook that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Trevor Switch, Oyster Perpetual, Datejust, and Date 8 are the best Rolex watches they make for me. There you go. <clears throat> uh, now in the southwest i wear polos shorts or trousers mostly casual yeah that's what i'm saying though get yourself some bills khakis that's casual but they look classy they look classy and they breathe real well and they'll they'll be great for where you are there you go um hey kyle how's the 9f his 9f is amazing bills khakis too baggy for me david williams have you tried a pair have you tried them my gosh, they're fantastic. They're fantastic. Triforce Rich is in the house. I got that Wested leather jacket four years ago. No, it wasn't made to measure, but I got it tailored. I have other leather jackets a year. It's not. Yeah, so they must have um, they must have gone downhill on their quality. That's my guess. I, I by the way, Peter Botwright died. Uh, when I got mine, I got mine from, from Peter Botwright, the guy that actually made the, the coats for the movie. He actually made my jacket for me. And he's passed away. So uh, probably when he passed away, that's probably when the quality started going to you know what. Uh, let's see, Trefers Rich. I do like the vintage root beer, though. And Kyle says, hey, William, the leather is lamb but way too tough compared to high quality lambskin. Yeah, they must have uh, cheapened up because mine is, is amazing, amazing. Uh, let's see, Craig, help. Um, okay, Mr. Q is in the house, Craig, help. Do the security magnetic and x-ray scans at airports damage the automatic watch movement? I gave up on straight answers, please help. Um, I would be shocked. I would be shocked if if they would damage it. I would be very, very surprised. But I have to tell you, and by the way, Mr. Q, you do not have to super chat if you want to ask a question like that. I will always answer your questions. Um, I, I, I have to tell you, I do not like to fly these days. I don't like to go through all that hassle. 
So I drive or, or you know, I look at other options, but maybe some more people can chime in with information. But I would be shocked if you take your watch off and put it in the thing and they send it through. Now, I have done that. I, I did that um, down in Florida when I had to get my passport renewed and all that stuff. So I went through some security things where they, you know, put it in the plastic tin and send the, the stuff through. Uh, and... I've never had any watch damaged by that, and I've never even thought twice about it. But maybe some folks can um, can chime in in the in the chat, and uh, we'll get some more information on that. Um, well, just different styles. The date just has never really appealed to me. Uh, let's see, super chat. Um, Kyle's announced Lance. I like it, but I like my Rolex better. Um, <clears throat> I wish it was spring drive, but once again, it is a better size than all the spring drive, in my opinion. Well, and it's also, Kyle, a great grab-and-go watch. It really is a great grab-and-go watch. And the lovely Bree is in the house, and she says hi to everyone. Triforce Rich is in the house. Craig, your shirts are too baggy, though. Not my opinion. Go to any tailor and get their opinion. You can have full freedom of movement and still have it trimmed down. No, 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 no. I would not want to do that. I would not want to um, to uh, have less less uh, fabric. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Um, let's see here. What else? Um, it also makes it cooler in the summertime to have that extra fabric. It's more area for the air to insulate you oh my my uh wow my monitor just went blank at least that it looks like the broadcast is still going wow that was weird i've never had that happen before my my monitor that i monitor the broadcast on just like flickered and went out and turned back on again like it rebooted or something that's weird and it's hooked up to a uh an ups unit on un uninterruptible power supply there are some thunderstorms around here if we get cut off, you'll know why. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm not... Cr okay. Um, I'll look into it. I hope Beto comes on the show. I love his work and his channel. Yes, yeah, so far, he hasn't responded to me, unfortunately. So he probably gets a lot of people, you know, approaching him. And he's a busy guy. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, he's he does some cool cool work and some cool videos um, let's see here Alan Edmonds is in Century City not far I'll see if they will let us call from inside now does Alan Edmonds do they have any other brands or are they just Alan Edmonds uh, let me know in the chat uh, let's see Triforce Rich because um, what would really be cool is if we could find a, a shoe store that sells like several high end brands right because uh, then we could get more visibility for our for our effort. Triforce Rich is in the house. William, my personal style is best described as gentleman adventurer. Love Henleys, boots, and leather jackets. So sports models suit me. There you go. Uh, I'll be wearing it tonight when I take my dad out for Father's Day dinner. Uh, David Williams says, yes, Craig, I've tried Bill's khakis. They're too baggy for me, unfortunately. Wow, that's interesting, because I love them. I love them. They're super comfortable. I think they look great. I love the reflection of the fluted bezel inside the car. Um, I'll tell you, even this smooth bezel <laughs> does a lot of reflecting <laughs> just because of the gold and because it's so polished. Um, let's see here. Uh, Craig, do you think that Rolex should make the Date 8 in stainless steel? <laughs> Uh, probably not. Bill's khakis have three different cuts. You can get less baggy cut if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, exactly. And I've never tried the less baggy ones because I actually want them to be. When you say baggy, I, the leg, the, the, the fabric going down the leg, there's a lot of room in that. There's, there's plenty of fabric there. And I love that because it makes them so comfortable. They're not, they fit in the seat and the butt and all that. They, they fit fine. They just have a lot of you know the the in the leg it's there's a lot of fabric there 
which I love. Let me see if I can pull up a picture. I don't know if I have a picture of me in the khakis. Uh, let me see here. I don't know if I, I, I know there's a video of me interviewing a guy and I'm wearing the khakis, but um, I don't know if I have a picture in here of me wearing them. Now, speaking of the wested coat, here, here I am wearing mine in uh, Russia with a cool, cool Russian guy. And there's mine. And uh, you can almost see like the grain in that leather and all. And it's super, super soft, super comfortable. Just absolutely amazing, amazing coat. Uh, but let's see if I can find a picture of me. Well, I was wearing the khakis in that picture, but you couldn't see them because it, it's, it's cropped off. Um, Hmm. Well, I've worn them before on the show. I'll, I'll wear them on a show and show you what they look like. But I, I've worn them. On, oh, here we go. Here's a picture of me wearing Bills. Figured I had one. I figured I had one. And here I am in Russia. Now, that particular pair, it, they are pleated. Okay, they're pleated. I have both ways. I have them pleated and non pleated. And you can see there there's plenty of fabric in those in the legs, so there's, you know, that doesn't bind you or whatever. You're very comfortable in them. And you, but uh, otherwise they they fit fine. They fit they fit freaking perfect. Bill's khakis, man. You can't be I went all over Russia in those in those things. Beat the heck out of them and they 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 worked fine. I only brought one pair with me. Let's see here. Uh, Carlos, I'll be honest. I look at that bracelet most of the time. The watch is the bracelet. Carlos, um, he wanted his lamb shank that his restaurant makes on Fridays. So, get, okay. Uh, automatic and manual winding watches are fine. And the magnetometer, the metal detector scanner. However, tuning fork watches do get messed up going through there. Okay, good to know good info. David's in the house. I travel often domestic internationally run watches through the scanner. Never had an issue. Okay, good. We're getting more more good feedback on that. Nice. I love Lamb Shank. Mr. Q, Leon, thank you. There you go. They're trying to shut us down. Uh, Kyle, expand. I don't understand. Oh, do you mean the that when my thing flashed on and off? <laughs> I'm be, I'm behind on the uh, chat, uh, obviously. Uh, de demonic possession of your monitor, not good. There you go, Mr. Q. Uh, David, I've heard about anti about mag magnetization affecting accuracy out of whack. Okay, that's strange. My screen just did the same thing exactly when yours did. Uh oh. Uh-oh, it is a conspiracy. <clears throat> Great. Given the circumstances, I give the option to choose the food to my kids. I would have chosen to go to a really nice Japanese that we have here, but everything is still closed. Greg, would you be willing to make your dislike of wide, wide collars an exception for Frank Sinatra? Um I don't know that he always wore those. I, he, he didn't always wear spread collars. Uh, okay, let's go back here. Do a time check while I go back. And let's see if we can get anything else here. Let's see if we can get anything else. Okay. And here I am uh, wearing... Actually, that, you know, I, I had another pair of khakis. Those are not bills. Those are like some kind of cheap, um, I don't remember what those were, but those were some other, those were not bills khakis. But they still are relatively full, and that's a lovely Masha, a lovely Masha. 
Okay, let's go back and see if we've got anything else interesting. Anything else interesting in here? Da 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 da. And there's the um, there's the Brooks Brothers suit that I wore to uh, New York. To New York, again, very conservative, very conservative. I believe that's the Brooks Brothers. Yeah, yeah, Madison, made in USA. Okay. And uh, fortunately, they used to make some good stuff back in the day. They made some good stuff. Let's see what else we got here. Now here I am. Uh, wait, what just happened? Didn't click on the right photo. Give me a second here. Operator error. Now this one here, you can just see a little bit of the khakis. And you see they are very full in the, in the legs. They are very full. But that's the way they're supposed to look. That's the way khakis are supposed to be. They're not supposed to be form-fitting to your leg. They're supposed to be very full. And, of course, that uh, Oxford uh, cashmere sport coat uh, goes nicely with them. So there you go. There you go, folks. Just get a nice shirt, nice conventional collar, nice tie, nice gold stunner, and some khakis. And you're good to go. You're good to go, folks. Good to go. Lock and load. Go out and do a deal. Uh, let's see. Um, I just bought a Grand Seiko Spring Drive SBGA285 from Topper Jewelers in California. I hope to have it next week. I would have bought from Little Treasury, but they would not take a trade for lower price. Well, that well, hey, if they you gave them a chance to try to make a deal, and they couldn't make the deal, you made the deal. You made the deal. That's what you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. In fact, I have bought many watches from Little Treasury. And they have never taken a trade from me, no matter what. That's interesting, because I know he will take trades, but I guess he just didn't offer you enough. Is that the idea? The Sammy Davis Jr. also get a pass for spread collars. Uh, you know, here's the thing. <clears throat> Depending on what you're wearing, there are times when it's okay to wear a spread collar. But if you look at uh, people like uh, Cary Grant, you know, most of the time he wasn't wearing spread collars. Uh, maybe sometimes. But, uh, and the other thing is, people like that, stars and all, they don't have to worry about things going in and out of style. They can wear the latest style, the style of the moment, and not worry about it, right? Because most of the time they get their clothes for free anyway, right? So... Me, though, I have to buy stuff, and I want to wear it indefinitely. I, I want it to never go out of style. I want it to be very conservative so that I can wear it at any time, and I know that it's going to be fine. Uh, so so there's that's my criteria. So my criteria is a little bit different. A little bit different. Um, I cannot do full-fitting trousers, says David Williams. Uh, let's see, Craig, if you can check out Aspel Wool from Michigan, pure USA made wool pieces. Okay, let's try it. A-S-B-E-L-L. -L. And remember, you can always send me an email to a link and it makes it even easier. But let's try it. Okay. Okay, Aspel Wool. We're going to check it out. We're going to check it out. Looks like they got a lot of things. 
so all of this stuff's made in the USA that's cool let's see here let's find a uh, well let's look at a vest let's look at a vest just for fun vests with hoods huh that's is that the deal okay let's look at something else here let's look at uh, you know let's look at jackets interesting I'm not a big one on hoods I'd rather wear a hat but that said this forest green thing looks kind of cool uh, it looks kind of cool uh, let's see what it says here it doesn't say Maybe it says here where it's made. Um, our products are designed, sewn, and shipped by American Labor. There you go. Cool. I'm hip. I kind of like it. I think that's kind of cool. I like he's got the, the archers, you know, the, the guard there on. That's kind of cool. Thanks for, thanks for showing us that. Uh, I didn't see suits though. Let me let me see if they have men's suits. Yeah, I don't see any suits. I think it's mainly casual things, but that's cool. Absolutely cool. Uh let's see here. Um uh, Mike uh, at Carlos only with a red suit. Okay, sent a link to a creator. Okay, Colombian tie, Carlos. Uh, yeah, that's when they cut your throat, right, and pull your your tongue through. Is that the deal on the Colombian necktie? Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see what. Let's see what. Let's see what the Lanster has up his sleeve here. I'm sorry, Lance, but I'm getting broken image links and stuff. This just ain't working. This just ain't working for me. So that link is not uh, not performing, Lance. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete that email. I hate to tell you, but I just deleted it. Um, Okay. All right. So let's see here. We've been going an hour because we started late. We started at 10 after. We've been going an hour. Uh, let's see. Um, spread collars are okay with a medium chain and an afro. That's how Carlos takes care of trolls. Uh, Stephen would not take my tutor, but no hard feelings. It was crappy. You have to scroll down. <laughs> Sorry, I already deleted it, Lance. Sorry about that. Um, all right, I'll try to pull it back up. I'll try to pull it back up. Uh, let's see if I can find this thing. Uh, no, I'm. Uh, it's in the trash. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, Anyway, that's what live television is all about. You know, if your link doesn't work right and i got to scroll down and all that stuff, that's, that's jumping too many hoops. Uh, let's see. Um, As, Aspel wool, it's functional outdoor stuff. Top craftsmanship, different weights of wool. Yeah, it looks, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Carlos, yeah, my dad loves uh, Japanese, but he asked for this anyway. Okay. All right. We're, uh, we're, we're, you know, we're getting to the end of the show. We're up to 41 live viewers. So, folks, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. And I have to give a shout-out to the lovely Brie, BrieFitDance.com. BrieFitDance.com. If you get a chance, subscribe to her channel. All the links are on BrieFitDance.com, including her Patreon and all that kind of good stuff if you want to um, 
help support her so she can create some more content. She can create some more content. And he's going to, Lance is going to resend the link. Okay, we'll take another look. Try the slow cook lamb leg someday. Really easy to do. That sounds really good. That sounds really, really good. Okay, let me just do a quick time check. Let me go back and check the um, email for this link that he resent. He resent the link. I'm going to scroll down this time. And I will show it to you if I can get it up on the screen here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Looks like it's yellow gold. That's a good start. You know what I don't like about this? I'm going to tell you right now, guys, and you probably get it. You probably understand. I think that crown looks ridiculously small. I don't like dress watches that have a, a really small crown, especially when they're manual wine, when you've got to wind them every day or every other day or whenever. It's much easier to have a nice, good-sized crown. That's one thing I like about this 002. It has a nice crown on it. And to me, these lugs could be a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker, but that's not a deal killer, but you could have a little more gold there. Um, but that's not a deal killer, but I, I do not like, I would want a bigger crown. And I don't like a gold dial because there's not that much contrast between the, the gold hands. Obviously, it has a, it's very trim. It's, it's you know, nice curves to the, to the case. There's a lot of things I like about it. And I do not mind, I, I don't mind drilled lugs on a dress watch. I think it's cool to be able to quickly and easily uh, change the uh, strap. I, I think that's cool. I'm hip to that. I have no problem with that. And I think any sport watch, to tell you the truth, should have drilled lugs. I don't know why Rolex got away from that. That was stupid. But anyway, the, the super case is stupid too. Now this, it looks like they've replaced the screws with steel screws. That's not good. This should have gold screws. Um, so, and there, there's no um, logo on the clasp. That's a shame. But it's certainly interesting. It's certainly interesting. How much is it? Uh, what is the, is it only 32 mils? This would be more for a woman if it's 32 mils. Anyway, interesting. Interesting. Interesting, Lance. I got to say that that's interesting. All right, I think we're going to wrap it up. Craig, uh, you and all have a good uh, weekend. So that's from David. Um, I sent you a photo of lamb from last week, 24-hour slow cook, agree on the Cradar crown, says David. I thought that right away needed more contrast between the doll and the hands. Okay, let's go and look and see if we've got uh, one more email from Carlos, the lamb. This is really going to make me hungry. Yeah, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I bet you that was good, too. I bet you that was good. Yeah. All right. That does it. I am hungry. I am hungry. We're going to wrap this puppy up. Hey, click subscribe and click the bell for notifications.